In tonight's concert, it happens that the music by Gabrielle Fauré's contemporaries is all from two years, 1914 and 1915. And as you know, these were important years in world history, but also in music history. The Romantic period had come to an end, and we're entering the early modern period. And the young composers were creating an amazing variety of musical styles. Sergei Prokofiev was writing music that was very violent and very sarcastic. Stravinsky was writing music that was very witty and had uh, comical wrong notes. So Stravinsky was writing music that was very witty and had comical wrong notes. Anton Webern was writing tiny pieces with very, very strong feeling. So Anton von Webern was writing tiny pieces and even Debussy was now writing very modernist music that was half sensual but also half very hard-edged. So Debussy, At the same time, Fauré, who was contemporary of all of these composers, was still writing his smooth, horizontal, and consoling music. The, the uh, pieces that I play tonight by Foray, it happens that they're all in the minor mode, they're all kind of sad pieces. Uh, perhaps this is because of the war, or also perhaps because Foray was beginning to have trouble hearing, he was going deaf. But as you will hear, these pieces are still very strong, very passionate, and they have moments of ecstasy. I decided to balance these uh, with some earlier, more brilliant pieces by Foray, which can be played. I'm also very happy that tonight uh, we're joined by wonderful cellos from Bangkok, Apichai Lien Pong. ขอเพิ่มเติมเมื่อกี้นะคะผลงานที่น่าตื่นตาตื่นใจของฟอร์เรนนั้นอาจจะบรรเลงโดยน้องเคนอัจฉริยะอัจฉริยะชาริค่
Thank you, and we'll begin. Thank you, and we'll begin. Thank you, and we'll begin.
Ken and I are going to play some duets now for piano four hands. And I just want to tell you one thing, which is that Stravinsky wrote these pieces for the amusement of his friends, and he would play them with his friends. As a management thing, you can know Ken, the cousin thing, do Stravinsky, ha. Then you know Stravinsky, how they thing, hey, ka, who know how to do the dance with them, ka, na ka. And so you will notice that one part is very, very easy. So you will notice that one part is very, very easy. So you will notice that one part is very, very easy. So you will notice that one part is very, very easy. So you will notice that one part is very, very easy. So you will notice that one
we create two encores, but before that, two things. One is uh, the next concert will be on, in the series, will be on February 20th. It's a long way away, but February 20th. And the guest will be Tasna Nagwatara, the violinist who played on the very first of the four ray concerts. On this concert, he will play the Ravel Sonata and Bartok Rumini dances. Um, I'd like to tell you that in four ways last year, in this last decade, he simply got a, a new burst of creative energy, and the pieces that are, I will play are very exciting, actually, and, the, and uh, very charming, and especially the last one, the 13th Nocturne, is one of his real masterpieces. So in his last year, he suddenly uh, got another burst of creative energy. Um, I also want to thank the stage crew, and especially Mr. Napat, who has been the manager for this concert. He's the one that arranged for the picture to be printed and hung, and he's been in charge of the stage crew. So I'd like to thank Napat. We get to know. The first song for it is an arrangement for cello and piano of one of Foray's most popular songs, Après un Fèvre, which means after a dream.
before telling you the second encore, I also want to thank my ever faithful page turner and translator, Rini Namte. As you can see there, um, putting two chairs because the next piece is a piano duet by Foray. It's from his sweet for piano uh, duet called Dolly, and the name of the piece is Meow.